In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to shorten a Google Drive link. We all know how sharing long URLs can be cumbersome, especially when you want to keep things neat and tidy. So let's get started. First, navigate to your Google Drive homepage. This is where you can see all the files and folders you've stored in Google Drive. Once you're there, select the file you want to share. This could be a document, image, or any piece of content you've uploaded. After selecting your file, you'll want to click on the share button. You'll usually find this icon at the top right corner of your screen once a file is selected. It's a crucial step because sharing permissions need to be set correctly for those who will receive your shortened link. When you click share, a dialog box will appear showing the current status of your link's accessibility. By default, your document might be set as restricted, meaning only people you specify can access it. Now to make sure anyone with your link can view the file, click on the term restricted. You'll see an option that says anyone with the link. Go ahead and select that. This ensures that whoever receives your URL can open and view the document without needing further permissions. Once this setting is configured, it's time to copy the link of your file. You'll find a copy link button in the same sharing dialog. Click it and your Google Drive's lengthy URL is now on your clipboard ready to be shortened. The next move is to head on over to Tiny URL. This is a popular URL shortening service that provides a neat and user-friendly interface for trimming those long links. Open your browser and search for Tiny URL. Once you reach their page, you'll see a box where you can paste your lengthy URL. Just click into the field and paste the Google Drive link you copied earlier. If you wish, Tiny URL allows you to customize your link by adding an alias. This can be particularly useful if you want your URL to be more memorable or relevant to the content down the line. Just type your desired alias into the appropriate box, but remember it has to be unique, so there's a chance it may not be available if it's already been used by someone else. Finally, click on the shorten URL button. Tiny URL will then work its magic and provide you with a much more manageable link. This new URL is now ready for sharing. You can distribute it across social media, in emails, or wherever you feel it's needed. And there you have it, a quick and efficient way to get a clean, easy to share link from your Google Drive files. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful.